Hello everyone, this is Learning with Michelle, and today we are going to be doing questions 37 through 41 of the 2022 Grade 4 Mathematics State Exam for New York State. So let's get started. The students in Miss Lee's class collected 268 books to donate to a library. The books were packed into four large boxes. The same number of books were packed in each box. How many box, I mean books, were packed in each box? So we're supposed to divide 268 by four because we're asking how many books are in each box. So we're supposed to do 268 divided by four. So let's divide. Four does not go into two, but four does go into 26. Goes into 26, six times. Six times four, that's 24. Minus 24, that's two. Carry the eight. Four goes into 28, seven times. Seven times four, that's 28. Have no remainder, so then the answer is 67, which is answer choice B. Let's move on to the next problem. Wait, let me just change 68 to look better. There. I mean 67 to look better. Um, so for question 38, it says, there are 26 students in Miss Smith's fourth grade class. There are six times as many fourth grade students in the school as in Miss Smith's class. Which equation could be used to find the total number of fourth grade students in the school? So the equation is 24 times six equals question mark. This is because 24 represents the number of students in, in Miss Smith's class. And six represents six times as many because it says there are six times as many fourth grade students in the school as in Miss Smith's class. So we're supposed to multiply 24 by six. And the question mark represents the whole number of fourth graders in the whole school, not class, by the way. Wrong writing, school. And that is answer choice C. Let's move on to the next problem. For question 39, it says the relationship between tickets earned and points earned in a game is described below. One ticket earned for every nine points scored. Two tickets earned for every 18 points scored. Three tickets earned for every 27 points scored. If the pattern continues, how many tickets are earned when 54 points are earned? So you're supposed to uh, find the pattern. One ticket, there's nine points. Two tickets, 18 points. Three tickets, 27 points. Let me write that down real quick. So there's basically one ticket for every nine points scored, right? So let's continue the pattern. Four tickets. You have to add 27 plus nine. That is 36. Five. Add another nine. That's 45. Then you have six. That's 54. So there are six tickets earned when 54 points are scored. And if you did not want to make this chart, then you could have just done 54 divided by nine to get six because there are nine tickets for every, I mean, there's one ticket for every nine points. 54 divided by nine, that's six. You could have just done that, but the table here is just to help you visualize. So let's move on to the next problem. Oh, let me just label this. This is the second way to do it. And this is the first way to do it. For question 40, it says, the diagram below shows angle ABC. A, B, 
and C, so it's the 143 degree angle. Ray BD is added to the diagram to create a straight angle ABD and a new angle CBD. What is the measure in degrees of angle CBD? So here you're supposed to do a line or a ray. Ray BD. So a ray is basically a type of line that has an endpoint but then has one direction going forever. So this is a ray. And in this case, it's going this way because it says that it creates a straight angle ABD. A straight angle is basically a 180 degree angle, which is this. So putting this here would add, would make everything 180 or make this whole angle 180. So it creates the straight angle ABD and a new angle CBD. The measure in degrees of angle CBD is basically 180 minus 143. This is because you need to subtract 143 from 180 to get this remaining angle. So you have 10, make this 7, 7 minus 4, that's 3. So the answer is 37 or 37 degrees. And let me just make the definitions known. This is a ray. And this is a straight angle, which is basically 180 degrees. Straight angle. Let's move on to the next problem. So for question 41, it says, dotted lines were added to the two figures shown below to represent lines of symmetry, which figure shows only correct lines of symmetry. So symmetry is basically when you make a line through a shape and both sides are the same. So if I have a square here, this is a line of symmetry. Both sides are the same. So that means that this is a correct line of symmetry. Same here. I mean, if I was going directly through the corners, say this is a straight line, and it was going directly through the corners, both sides would be the same. So these are lines of symmetry. So let's try to see which lines of symmetry are correct for these shapes. So basically, you need to look at each line of symmetry and find out which ones are correct and which ones are not correct. So if you split this down the middle, let me just use my tool. So if you use this, both sides are the same. And if you use this, Both lines, I mean, both sides are the same. You can keep doing that until you see that figure B has all the lines of symmetry correct. Now you go on to figure A. You see this. This is correct. This, let me just, this is also correct and then you keep doing that until you find that one of the sides along the corner is not a line of symmetry which means that you can give this explanation figure b shows only the correct lines of symmetry 
This is because if you meet up the lines of symmetry on figure B, then all of the lines overlap perfectly. However, if you fold a figure A on one of its diagonal lines, then the figure does not overlap perfectly. Therefore, it is not symmetrical. Let me just... This kind of response would give you full credit on these kinds of questions because you have to be clear, precise, and state the answer directly in the first line because you can actually get points off if you include the explanation, but no answer. Okay, everyone, that was all for today. I hope you found this video useful. Be sure to like and subscribe and share with your friends. I will make sure to keep posting more content like you for this. I mean, like this for you. And I'll be sure to see you in the next video. Bye.